God speaks and it comes to pass, lift up your hands and give Him praise. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. You know the reason why we're not advanced is because we don't thank Him for what He has done in the past. Thank you for February. Thank Him ahead for March. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All oh, we thank you. We worship. I just came to say. The reason why you showed up today. I just want to say, and that God answered. Go ahead and thank you. Go ahead and thank you. Things he, the enemy expected by, that by now you should have entered trouble. Things would have gone south. Things could have gone south. Why don't you thank him and appreciate him for what he has done. Thank you. Thank you. A small you can pray a prayer from earth and God will hear in heaven. Pray. Why don't you thank him? Why don't you thank you? Thank you, Jesus. I praise you. I praise you.
If we are pretending, you know. <laughs> we are transparent before you. We thank you for the things you did that we cannot see. <laughs> we thank you. We appreciate you. Because I celebrate you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We have come to the first Sunday of March. And we have come to give thanks to you and to receive your prophetic direction. Lord, direct us. Amen. Let us not remain the same. Amen. Let everything we will hear and the things you will say profit us at the end of the day. Amen. Lord, we declare that we have light Amen. and we're wrong with the light. Amen. And our lives do not remain the same. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a hand, somebody. Are you giving me a hand of the Lord? You are still sounding like you're apologizing. Come on, give the Lord a hand. Amen. God bless you. Let me get started this morning by welcoming the person on your left and your right and say you're welcome to this prayer service at Koza. God bless you. Be seated. God bless you. Love your right back. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. What a joy. You're looking colorful this morning. What a joy. What a joy. In case you're here for the first time, I welcome you. You're not here by happenstance or circumstance. God brought you here for a purpose, on a purpose. I don't preach on the first Sunday of the month. It's the month where we thank the Lord and sing praises to the Lord. It's the month that we give our normal offerings and we do thanksgiving at the end of the service. But I also give a prophetic direction. And as you listen, your life will not remain the same. Yeah. I want to start by sharing with you. What I want to share this month, there's no way I can finish it in the service. So I will just share one thing. So allow me to start from Isaiah 60 verse 1. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, my God. <laughs> Shine! I can close the service. Because all you need to do is to rise and shine. Pastor Bearden, the reason why I can shine is because I've tried it before. I've tried the business before. I've tried to do things before. I've tried to, to get a job before. I've tried to pursue my master's. I've tried to get a visa before. How can you see arise and shine? Are you deceiving us? Or you are telling us the truth? This is the mind of God for us. There are some things that were not possible last year that are now possible. There were some things that were not possible, even in January, that are not possible. That's why God will say, arise, shine. We know that the word shine doesn't mean that you are 
shining. <laughs> because you're not the light. The word shine is the Hebrew word O-R-E, from which you have the word iron ore. It means illuminate. Why would God see a rise shine if the person was shining before? That person was down, was gloomy, was apt. The Bible says in Isaiah 61, from verse 1, I'm coming back to Isaiah 60. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me. Now, God is not anointed. Anointed means God puts his omnipotence upon a man to perform like him. So this is not God talking, this is Jesus Christ talking. Of course, you see that in Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Because, God anoints because. He doesn't anoint you for self-angrandizement. He anoints because. And Jesus counted, number one, he has sent me first of all to bring good news to the poor. <laughs> if you are talking about something else, someone that's not eating since morning will not hear. Where I came from, they said, if hunger enters your stomach, nothing else will enter. <laughs> so, God first of all addressed the issue of prosperity or poverty. He said, he has sent me. He didn't send himself. He has sent me to heal, to, to preach good news to the poor. He didn't send him to give the poor money. He sent him to tell the poor, you don't need to be poor again. He has sent him to heal the broken heart. He didn't tell him to, to tell the broken he, he is there to, to heal the broken heart. He has sent him to proclaim liberty to the captives. An opening of prison to those who are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year. This is not in, uh, this is in um, Luke chapter 4. And the day of vengeance is not in Luke chapter 4 verse 18. Uh, if you read it in 20, because the day of vengeance has not come. And to comfort, my God, all who mourn in Zion. Read verse 3. To console those who mourn in Zion. So there are people in Zion that have been mourning. So he sent me to tell people that are mourning. So it's possible you came to the church today, down, out. The devil dealt with you. You don't have any good thing to say. That lady said she even prayed to God that God should take her life. But God didn't answer the prayers. And things turned around. She would have gotten to heaven and realized that she was the best student. Did you see the award? She would have realized that a PhD was waiting for her. Yes, she prayed that she should die. I pray for somebody here. As you arise, you will shine. I say you will shine. Amen. I say you will shine. Amen. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's possible people have not gathered to celebrate you before. This is the month. Amen. This is the year. Amen. It's starting from today. Amen. If you believe it, shout a bigger amen. amen. Particularly if you're not in this auditorium, shout a bigger amen. amen. Yesterday night, they called me from the media. They said, what's the theme for the month? I said, I don't know. I never come here if God has not spoken. He said, arise. He said, shine. <laughs> you will shine again. Amen. You will smile again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I have thought about Isaiah 60 a lot. But there's something I've not thought about in 24 years. The next word, four. Four. Four means because. See, there were things you tried to do before. You didn't shine. It didn't work. The reason why I'm telling you to arise and shine is because your light has come. <laughs> and now so some people tell them my light has come. Find somebody. Tell them. Because some people are unbelieving believers. Say, so my light has come.
He didn't say pray for your light to come. It is a cry for your light to come. He said it has come. You need someone to announce to you because you may not know. You may not know. You see, in the Old Testament, when the glory shifted, they came out every morning and saw that the glory has shifted. Oh, it's now from Guzapé. It's now in Asok, AYA. Then they moved the tent. God never allowed them to be the permanent building. They moved the tent under the glory. That was why they were circling for 40 years. Because wherever the glory went, they had to go. But because, you know, if you were attending the church, pastored by Moses, when the glory moved, you knew. But because you came to the same church, you met the same people, you sat on the same seat, you don't know something has moved. So you come to church thinking it's the same church. I said, your light has come. <laughs> I said, your light has come. Amen. Will I not hear your testimony? Amen. Those who dare to believe. I said, your light has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mark it. Go back to where they said no to you. Your light has come. Amen. I said, your light has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. See the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. What will affect the whole world? How you would have thought they would look for their quarter of the world, like Washington. Then, the angels will be ascending and descending. There will be a fireworks. Then, they will blow a trumpet. Seven, 21 angels. Pam, 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 pam. Then, they will let the baby down. Everybody will know that. Ah, the prince of this world came. That wasn't how it happened. If the angels didn't announce to the shepherd, they will not know. God can be doing something in your life and you are used to what you've always been used to. If so, if you don't believe, to everyone that believes, to everyone that believes, why do you have to believe? It will not show. God will not come the way you want, to, you want him to come. Guess where God landed? In the manger. Ah, ah. The one that made the earth in the manger. <laughs> so you can be looking and not see. Except someone opens your eyes. He said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, I'm looking and I see the almond tree. He said, Thou seest right. Why would the angel ask? Because men are looking. They can't see. Bible says they can look and not understand. They can look and not see. They can look. Perfectly, and look at that thing and not perceive. He said, Lest they turn. Why will you be doing Yahoo Yahoo if you know that God has said something about your prosperity? Why will you use your mother, the one that gave her to you as jazz, if you knew that God has said something? You can hear. 2 Corinthians 4 3. 2 Corinthians 4 3. He said, If our gospel be hid, if our gospel be veiled or hid, it is veiled or hidden to those who are perishing. Verse 4, to those whose mind the God of this age, or the God of this world, the young, has blinded. Who do not believe. What did they do? They don't believe. They heard. They saw it. What? No, can God come through this way? That's your doing of the Jewish people. They thought, uh, what are you people saying? Number one, the Bible you people are carrying about was printed in a press. Jesus Christ, we know his father. He's not the Messiah. <laughs> he said the glory he said last the light of the gospel the gospel of glory Christ in whose image of God shall shine on them today as you rise you will shine Amen. as you rise I say you will shine Amen. things will change for you Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. a dear man came here to share testimony with me with his wife and God told him to walk around his house you know the story. You know the testimony. How that that man could not attend the 12 days of glory because he was sick. I think 2022, he was sick. He could not attend. And I was about to round off a session and I said, hit wherever you are, you are struggling with in your body. I think 21 times. As he hit it, 
He went, he just managed to the bathroom. That was it. And God told him, after a while, oh, he got healed instantly. That was the last. He just went to the toilet. He got healed instantly. After then, he built a house. And God told him to go around the house. Is there something you wanted to do? In fact, he didn't bother to do a swimming pool. It was after he started building that he loved a swimming pool. He did it. Everything he wanted to do, he did it. I pray for somebody here. Every abandoned project, God will turn it around. This service will be a service you will remember for life. This service will change your life for life. If you believe it, shout threefold in and so Do you know that if the shepherds were not watching their flocks by night, they would not know that the prince of this world had come. It was when they were watching, if they were asleep. And, you know, angels were ascending. It, it seems to me that God was looking for somebody that was away. Why did he come during the day? Why did he come at night? Not everybody will see what God is, God is doing. And I'm here to announce to you, your light has come. I say your light has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now I command everything that wasn't possible before. Now let me become possible. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the crooked be made straight for you. Amen. Let the valley be exalted. Amen. Let the mountains be leveled. Amen. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed. Amen. Let the counsel of the Lord stand in your life. Amen. If you believe it, shout Amen like fire. Amen. In Luke chapter 1 verse 78. Luke chapter 1 verse 78. Luke 1 78. The Bible says through the tender message of our God. With which the day spring <laughs> from on high has visited us. Verse 79. To give light. Why did the day spring visit us? To give light. To those. You know one of the phrases I like in the Bible was is, is two cities, Sidon and Tyre. Some people don't tire, they call Sidon. <laughs> to give light to those who sit in darkness and some people sit in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. I pray in the name of Jesus. This term means revelation. Since revelation has, some people no matter who spoke to them, they don't believe. Maybe a guest minister, they will believe once in a while. But I prophesy to you. Everything begins to change. Your strength begins to change. Your property begins to change. Every trouble you have in your job begins to change. Every trouble on your business begins to change. If you believe it, shout amen somebody. means in the heavenlies something has happened to you. But you still think you are the same because of what you've encountered. Oh, you can tell me story upon stories. Those stories are testimonies. <laughs> they are, you remember the lady that had three, uh, three year old lady that had cancer. Some of you wouldn't have believed that God could heal cancer until the, the testifier said they've gone for a scan and she was cancer free. How? How? Medical people in this place or paramedics in this place they understand what we're talking about. If you've been sick before you know what I'm talking about. To be free, your old system free of what the doctor said. Therefore in the name of Jesus, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet because your light has come as your eyes begin to shine. Amen. As your eyes begin to shine. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Psalm 105 verse 16. Psalm 105 verse 16. Moreover, he called for a famine in the land. <laughs> Who called for a famine? God. He called for a famine in the land. He destroyed all the provision of bread. I love KJV today. In verse 16, we go back to New KJV. The Bible says, You break the whole staff of bread. 
He broke it. Go back to 17. That's a meditation for somebody. So it's possible. I, I, I remember I was dressing for Tuesday service. And as I was about to pick my clothes, I just, God just showed me a family that was searching pockets to get money. I just felt. Second time he showed me. Then I forgot about it. I didn't ask. I just left it. When I got on the stage, he told me two times. About to finish this, the message, he, he reminded me. I said, if you are in church today, you were searching pockets to get money. And you were rich before. Come out. Oh, the whole family was in church. And I prayed for them. Oh, you don't want to hear the story. I didn't know that the, the husband was a politician in the state. God turned things around. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. God will turn things around for you. Weeping can endure for a night. You can imagine somebody weeping from morning, 12 noon, till night. And in the morning, boom, joy comes in the morning. I pray in the name of Jesus. Things will change for you. Your testimony will make news in this city. Nobody, even people that have doubted the Bible, they will not be able to doubt your story. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. In Psalm 105, verse 16, that I told you to turn to, the Bible says he broke the staff of bread. He destroyed all the provision of, of bread. In verse 17, the Bible says he sent a man before them. Ah, you would have thought the man will appear in Egypt. And they will blow, they will blow a trumpet. <laughs> Say the man that will save this nation has just arrived. No. It's possible you came to Abuja or the city you are listening to me in Ghana must go. And some people housed you. You know, my father was giving scholarship in school, in church, in their church. And one of the things you would do if you were given a scholarship, they would just pay your school fees. And you would leave it with the family in the other campus. The campus he, he lived in, they didn't have any child. But he was wise. He just kept quiet. And they adopted him like a child. When he came home for holiday, his mom didn't know what to send as gifts. You know that thing they used to back a baby up? My grandmother is into weaving as a hobby. She weaved one and gave my father. Oh, when the woman received it, she started crying. Is it because you've told your mother that I don't have a child? That she, she sent me this gift. My father said prophetically, uh -uh, Mommy, you have a child. God will do it. That year. Boom. In a whole ditch. You know the person, I won't tell you, that they gave back to that day, is a former governor. I'm telling you, whatever it is, delay is not denial. If it's delayed, it's because of the latest. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. God will visit you. If you believe it in the name of Jesus, because your light has come, you will shine again. Things will change for you. The Bible says in verse 17, he sent a man before them. Joseph, you know the story of Joseph, <laughs> who was sold as a slave. My God, that's the man God sent. He came in handcuffs as a slave. The man God sent. Joseph, you are in the house today, or you are listening to me. I don't know how you came. Can God send me like this? I don't know. You are the only one that can tell that you went or God sent you. The Bible says in verse 18, they heard his feet with fetters. Where was God? Where were angels? When they hurt his feet. In other words, they were pushing him. Sometimes they fell down. Some of you think if somebody is working with God, he will never have trials in life. You don't know God. You've not worked with him. God that can pretend like he doesn't exist and allow the devil to deal with you because he wants his glory to shine. 
You know the Greek word for problem? Probably. It means to bounce up. You'll bounce up again. I say you'll bounce up again. This message I'm preaching, anybody you buy it for, anybody that dares hears, dares hear and believes it, let there be a turnaround for them. In the name of Jesus. They heard his feet with feathers and he was laid in irons. Verse 19. Oh, I'm out of time. Until the time. You see? That's what I wanted to show you. When it's time, it is time. <laughs> when it's time, it is time. Any aspect of your life that the enemy has been reigning before now, I command it to be out of your season. In the name of Jesus, any enemy that is pretending to be a friend, this is the time that is to be revealed to you. Your sleep will not be ordinary. In the name of Jesus, God will turn things around for you. If you believe in a threefold amen, somebody. Until the time that the word of the or his word came to pass. He said, he said, even though the vision is for an appointed time, he said, even though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come to pass. Some of you have ah, been doubting what God said because of what you went through. He spoke the end from the beginning. He didn't tell you the middle. <laughs> and now that you're seeing the middle, you are doubting the end. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every contradictory circumstance that the enemy has brought to you, let them bow before you right now. Let them bow before you right now. Until the time, verse 19, until the time that is what came, the word of the Lord tried him. My God. Are you going through trials? Until the, the word of the Lord tried him. Verse 20, the Bible says, the king sent and lose him. My God. When it's time, it is time. Somebody starting from today, in the name of Jesus, people you didn't imagine will help you. We help you. We help you. We help you. If you believe it, shout him at somebody. I don't know how to tell this testimony. I will code it. Somebody just called me some years ago. I said, I am so, so, so. Never heard his name before, but he was a Muslim. He said, meet me somewhere. It was on the street we met. He said, what, is, what did you do for this person? I said, I don't know. What did he intend? I said, I don't know. He said, tomorrow, they want to do this and this, this. But I have been sent to help you. I just my mind to help you. And he showed up the next day and helped me. I pray in the name of Jesus from nowhere. Help will arise for you. Those who sit in darkness, I say light will arise for them. In the name of Jesus, maybe you've been dwelling in the shadow of death. Maybe people have laughed at you. They say, oh, we'll see. Say, By tomorrow, we'll see what happened. In the name of grace, will speak for you. If you believe in shout the threefold, amen, somebody. sent and loosed him. What was the jail time of Joseph? Life. No jail time. Because he wasn't tried. They just locked him and threw away the key. Even the ruler of the people let him go free. You'll go free. <laughs> I say you'll go free. This is a prophetic service. I say you'll go free. In the name of Jesus. And now so three people say the snare is broken and have escaped. The snare is broken and I have escaped. Verse 21. Let me just stop at 22. He made him Lord of his house. My God. From prison to being the Lord. Lord is the word I've done. Owner. The one, they, they give him a name, Zapanaya Panaya. The one that has the power to kill and to make alive. He removed his ring, signet. From which you have signature. When you open it, you don't need to sign. The signature of the king is there. You just put it there. In the blood. In red. <laughs> 
from prison to having the power to let you go or to kill you. I pray in the name of Jesus, your story will change. Your story will change. He made him Lord of his house and ruler of all his substance. Verse 22, to bind his prince at his pleasure. At his pleasure. And teach his senators wisdom. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every single thing the enemy taught and saw in your life that made him attack you. In the name of Jesus, the counsel of the Lord shall stand in your life. In the name of Jesus. In Proverbs 21 verse 1, the Bible says the heart of the kings are in the hand of the Lord. And as the rivers of water, he turneth it where he wills. Where he wills. He turneth it where he wills. Therefore, as you rise and shine in the name of Jesus, you will see wonders. If your Bible was to be written after, after this one, your story shall be there. Now, we do things in this church. I do things as a vision. And we plan for it. <laughs> like the seven days of glory, we started planning. Some things we will do. We, we advertise them. Oh, we plan for it. God does not plan. <laughs> God is a planner. I'm not saying God is not a planner. But they say where I came from. That how Saturday will be. You will know from Friday. Not in God's plan. We be made tarry for a night. You can look. He said it's just spring forth. Spring means you check yesterday. There was no river. There was, no, there was nothing. It was dry. Joy comes in the morning. <laughs> As you walk out of this church, something new will happen to you. Something new will happen to you. Something new will happen to you. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> I was preaching some Tuesdays ago, some months ago, maybe years ago. They had arrested his sister's father for fraud. Oh, I'm not, I'm not clear. They arrested him and put him, put him in jail. They jailed him, I don't know. But they just put him in jail. And the Lord spoke that there's somebody in the prison. He will be released supernaturally. And the next day, ah, they brought the man out. I released the man. They were all shocked in their family. She was shocked that she had to tell me about it. That she had to share testimony. I pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever thing has gone for a cycle, your 40 days, your 40 years is now complete. I prophesy. You have circled this mountain long enough. It's time for you to move forward. I may not be sent to everybody, but the person I'm sent to, I say it's time for you to move forward. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. God is the God of suddenly, I prophesy that something will happen to you suddenly. In the name of Jesus. The Sadducees and the Pharisees were shining in Israel until suddenly the Holy Ghost came. One day, it wasn't even time for service. Suddenly, I pray that the suddenly, allow me to speak the English of God, shall dawn in your circumstance. In Genesis 41 14. Genesis 41 14. You know, the devil is so smart. He doesn't need your job, he doesn't need your car, he doesn't need your career. Everything is to make sure God does not sit well, it's to take God out of the equation. But when God steps in, the battle is over. <laughs> then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and they brought him how? Huh? They brought him how? Uh, by, by the time you walk out of this place. I would have said now, but you can't find out some things right now. Some of you, it will be so quick that as a switch of your phone, you will have a testimony. Receive good news from afar. Receive good news from afar. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. They brought him quickly out of the prison. They brought him quickly. 
and shaved him. They didn't even tell him who. They, they just had a shape because the king's instruction requires east. <laughs> and changed his clothing. My God. Oh, they would have made him appear before Pharaoh with the prison cloth. They changed his clothes and came to Pharaoh. In the name of Jesus, you'll come to something. In the name of Jesus, I say you will come to something. There's a king in Israel called Joachim. Not Joachim. Jo Joachim. That guy was tormented. That guy was oppressed. In 2 Kings 25 from 27. I want to read three verses to you. Now it came to pass. In the 37th year of the captivity of Joachim. You can imagine what had happened for 37 years. The king of Judah. In the 12th month. And in the 27th day of the month. Evil Meruda. He's so evil that they gave him. His first name was evil. Evil. Saul. From when he was a child. Evil Merodach. The king of Babylon. In that year. Began to reign. He released Joachim. The king of Judah. From prison. From nowhere. An evil person was used by God. Pray in the name of Jesus. God will use. People of other religion for you. God will use people that you have turned evil. God will use them for you. Amen. Things will change for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. things will change for you. Amen. In verse 20, 28, he spoke kindly to him. How? Grace, anointing. This just sounds like me. He spoke kindly to him and gave him a more prominent seat than those of the king who were with him in Babylon. In verse 29, And Joachim changed from his prison cloth, and he had bread regularly before the king all the days of his life. This is not something that happened once in a while. I pray that starting from today, in the name of Jesus, your story has changed. Your story has changed. Look at verse 30. Verse 30, and as for his provisions, there was a regular ration given him by the king. Regular. A portion for each day. All the days of his life. I pray in the name of Jesus, your bread will not cease. Clothes will be on your back. Everything you need to fulfill your vision, receive it right now. Everything God has spoken to you, receive it right now. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. And now so three people when it's time is time. <laughs> Isaiah 61 verse 3. I want to read two verses to you. Isaiah 61. To console who mourn in Zion. All those who mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. All their life they've been having ashes. Suddenly he gave them beauty. They didn't have it. He gave them. All of joy for money. My God. The garment of praise. Pay attention to verse 3 because I'm going to reverse. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Spirit of heaviness. Spirit of heaviness. That they may be called the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. That he may be glorified. Go to verse 10 because of time. Verse 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he has clothed me. My God. He has clothed me. It, it wasn't even far before the prophecy came to pass. He has clothed me with the garment of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. And as a bridegroom decks himself with honor. You can imagine someone that was mourning. Suddenly, people gather to celebrate with him. <laughs> as a bridegroom decks himself. Do you know you wear your best clothes the day you are getting married? The best. Who says hallelujah to that? The best. As the bridegroom decks himself with ornaments. As the bride adorns herself with jewels. 
I pray in the name of Jesus. I say your story will change. I'm speaking to those who believe. I say your story will change. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Let me quickly tell you a few things before I move forward. You need to know that God created time and stepped out of time. In Genesis 1.14, the Bible says God made two great lights. And let there be light in the firmament of heaven to divide the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons, for days and for years. A new season has happened. I say a new season has happened. Enter into your new season. If you believe it, shout him in three times. So you need to know that God created time to measure your progress. But his step is not governed by time. But he made time. So as we enter the first Sunday March, a new season has happened for you. Yeah. Number two thing I want you to know is that there's some things the father has put in his office. No other person except, they said, who do men say that I the son of man am? He said, you are Elijah, you are this. He said, who do you say that I am? Thou art the Christ. You know what Jesus said? He said, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. But my father, I didn't tell you. But my father. There's some things is only the father can, that can tell you. In Acts 1 verse 6, Acts 1 6. Acts 1 6. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, Will you at this time restore the kingdom of you? Because the, if you are a real Messiah, this is what we've heard you preach. Now you're risen from the dead. We are, we are happy. But will you at this time? This is what our neighbors used to use to mock us. And we were hoping that you will restore. You, you know, the Messiah is not supposed to come like you. You know, like the son of a carpenter. And you are too gentle, sir. We are at this time restore the kingdom. We're not supposed to have the Roman government colonize us. We are at this time restore because it came in two capacities. He is supposed to come in the Abrahamic covenant. That was how it came. He's coming again. That's when he will land at Megiddo in the Davidic covenant. Through you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. But when he said to David, you shall not lack a son on the throne. In other words, the king of Israel will come. The Messiah will come. So that's why the Israelites don't believe in him. Because uh, how can you say you're a Messiah and you're gentle like this? Yeah, you did a few miracles. People have done miracles before. You should have dealt with the Roman government that has colonized us. Then we'll know you're a Messiah. So they asked him, okay, now that you're risen, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? Why did they use the word restore? Because they were under a colony. Herod was under the, the, the colonial masters. Even Pontius Pilate was not supposed to be, to be there as a governor. But because he was an in-law to Caesar. That was why they said, crucify him, crucify him. And the, the guy washed his hand and said, I can crucify him. He has done nothing. They said, if you don't crucify him, you're not a friend to Caesar. In other words, we'll report you. You're not supposed to be here. We will change the governor. That was when he crucified Jesus. In verse 7. Are you alive? Yes, oh, this is the full Bible school. And he said to them, It is not for you to know. Times and seasons with the Father has put in it. I don't even know it. Angels, verse 8. Is angels of God don't even know it. I don't even know it. You focus on your focus. The, this thing I'm talking about is put in the authority of the Father. In Galatians 4 and verse 1, the Bible says, except, now I say to you, the hair, that the hair, as long as is a child, does not differ at all from a slave. Though he is a master of all. What does the Bible say in verse 2? The Bible says in verse 2, but is under guardians and stewards until, until the time appointed by the Father, not me. Even Paul in his anointing, not him. Until the time appointed by the Father. Therefore, the first thing I want you to know is that God created time and stepped out of time. Number two is that God has kept some things, some things in his jurisdiction. There's nothing, no prayer 
So I prayed, I've done this, I fasted. You can't change it until the time appointed by the Father. Well, it's time. I say it's time. In the name of Jesus. Next thing I want you to know is that God has made some things beautiful in the time he has set. In Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11, Ecclesiastes 3, 11, he made everything, not some things, not many things, everything beautiful in its time. In its time. That's why you can eat some fruits that are naturally sweet. When it's not its time, it becomes bitter or sour. Because you ate it at the wrong season. The Bible says, also, it puts eternity in our heart. Except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to the end. No one. I want you to know that God has created, he created time and stepped out of time. He, 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 he has kept some things in his time. He makes all things beautiful in his time. Number four. In Genesis 8 and verse 22, some of us quote the scripture by saying, seed time and harvest time. While the earth remains, hit the floor, say the earth remains. The earth remains. Seed time. Not seed time. And harvest time. No. Seed time. There's a time to sow seeds. Hallelujah. Now, when I'm saying this, I'm not talking about money. Everything you do is a seed. Everything you do. You may be in the seed time. Or maybe that time you are going through what you're going through is a seed time. Harvest is coming. I say harvest is coming. Harvest is coming. You must know that it's time for everything. While the earth remains, seed time. And harvest shall not cease. Shall not cease. Shall not cease. Nobody can preach you out of that. It shall not cease. In the name of Jesus, it shall not cease. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Number five. There are borders that God has set concerning the earth. In Psalm 74 verse 16. Psalm 74 verse 16. The day is yours. Talking about God. The night also is yours. You have prepared the light and the sun. That's a message for another day. They are different. <laughs> you have prepared the light and the sun. Verse 17. You have set all the borders of the earth. That's why I don't have to wake up and say, yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? I didn't pray for sun to come out today. the Moon is still. Father, in the name of Jesus, I know. He has set every single thing. When he seeks, the sun goes. He has set. You don't need to pray. He doesn't need to, to, be, to say, no, I'm coming. No, no. He has set those things in place. He said, God has made the summer and the winter. Therefore, if God has set the day and the night to be in place, if he has set the summer and the winter, I prophesy, a new season has come to you. A new season has come to you. Therefore, let the old stop. Amen. Let the new start. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Isaiah 60 verse 1, I'm going to stop at verse 1 because of time. He said, arise, shine. For. For. The reason why I have to rise, despite all I'm going through, despite all I'm dealing with. When you see me smile, it's not because I don't have the reason not to smile. But my light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen. He's not going to rise. He's already there. Come on, tap your neighbor, tell them. I don't know about you, the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I have a spiritual investigation that the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. What makes God God? What God will show Moses without showing him himself? The glory of God. He said, I will make my glory pass before you. That thing has risen upon me. Verse 2 says, behold. Behold means stop. Look intently. For behold. It didn't say darkness. It said the darkness. Maybe that's where I will stop. Because of time. The darkness. 
When I tell you, bring the shirt, there's a particular shirt. Former times that the Bible spoke about darkness, let's say Genesis 1-2. That thing covered the earth, but this one covers the people. Covers professors, covers governors, covers some of our uncles, covers some of our religions. Some people giving you advice is out of darkness. Bible says you were darkness before. You are now sons of light. Darkness is a person. Behold, darkness will cover the face of the deep. Oh, go to Isaiah 60 verse 3. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And deep darkness, there are people. But, in the Hebrew, but means zeal. It means a new beginning. Despite what is happening, if you know about light, the reason why this light is shining this way is because there's no window here. We did it that way. The choice of rug, every single thing, choice of chairs, is because we wanted to make it dark so that this light can shine properly. Oh, there's darkness where I was raised pastor, the people in my background, the house I was raised in, the darkness shall cover the people. But you, the Lord, will rise over you. Do you know that all the brothers of Joseph were shepherds? His grandfather was a shepherd. His father was a shepherd. But something told him he wasn't a shepherd. What has God told you? I was sharing something with a pastor friend of mine. Do you know when I was 12 years old, went to NTA Loring, I was part of a choir. <laughs> I sang the song. I sang in the choir. Church choir. I sang it to my pastor friend. He was just laughing. Because I wanted to make a point. Because God reminded me of the song. There are things you've done when you were young. God has put a finger upon you since when you were young. Grace has been upon you. He said, but the Lord, despite the family you're from, despite the neighborhood you are raised from, despite all you've been through, but the Lord will rise over you. And his glory will be, oh my God, seen upon you. Now from today, I prophesy, the glory shall be seen upon you. I command every darkness around you to be dispelled. In the name of Jesus, everything called darkness, let him stop right now. Let the old stop. Let the new start. Let everything in the name of Jesus that will do you good begin to happen to you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord send help out of Zion. May the Lord send people to you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord has desired to satisfy you. Therefore, let him satisfy you early. In the name of Jesus, let mercy be apparent upon your life. Amen. According to Psalm 102 verse 13, the Lord shall have mercy upon Zion because the set time has come. Because your set time has come. Let, let mercy be apparent upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now let God arise. Let your enemies be scattered. Let everything that represents good happen to you. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Pray in tongues if you believe it. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Don't pray gently. Pray loudly. Focus your attention on that problem. That infirmity. That thing. Please don't joke with this moment.
begin to declare say my light has come in the name of the, as i rise in this month i will shine begin to declare it you will get what you say in the name of jesus begin to mention that thing that represents shining maybe you want to build a house maybe god has been talking to you about a vision say as i rise my story will be different things that were not possible last year things that were not possible some months ago they are now possible for me as i rise i will shine prophesy i will shine again measure your child's name say you will shine again you're where you are because the heaven has not helped you call for the help of god Say, meditate on these things. Give yourself entirely to them that your prophet may appear unto all. Come on, pray like you not hear this message in vain. You don't receive the grace of God in vain. Pray. begin to pray say in the name of jesus the glory of the lord shall be seen upon me pray that prayer it shall be seen upon me it shall be seen upon me in the name of jesus the bible says that john and peter perceived the grace upon paul it shall be perceived it shall be seen in the name of jesus Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. I pray for you. This month, March, you will see the invisible. You will hear the inaudible. I pray in the month of March, you will touch the intangible. In the name of Jesus, your story will change. Everything about you will do you like a dream. God will help you. In the name of Jesus, as, as, you, as God has given a word and as you believe, everything you need to do to plunge into the reality, the Lord will inspire you. He will teach you to profit. He will lead you the way you should go. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. In the month of March, I prophesy to you, your light has come. In the name of Jesus. Announce to three people say, my light has come. My light has come. I know what to do. I understand exactly what to do. For my things have come to pass. Yea, behold, I do a new thing. My light has come. 
in the name of Jesus and the glory of the Lord has risen upon me in the name of Jesus father we thank you we give you the praise thank you for all the people that are connected to us through the TV through the YouTube on the in, in, in the campuses I pray that in the name of Jesus as faces are different faces are different needs are different Lord Jesus visit with everybody let light shine in darkness let light shine in darkness there is somebody that is listening to me they have said nobody's head will be lifted in your family I pray for you in the name of Jesus light will shine in darkness light will shine in darkness by all means I will see your face on the screen you have a new testimony and your testimony will make news in this town so shall it be in Jesus precious name give thanks make a mention